All right, so we're back, uh, just like the Goose Roasters are back in business uh, with our takeaways. So follow us on Facebook and do your online, which is going to be coming up this week, online orders, which is going to be fantastic, very new for us in our new age Ooh. business. Okay, so today we've got Jenna's friends visiting again. Tiny monkey kangaroo mango moo. Okay, super. Uh, and I made my own did you? limeade. Oh, wow, all by yourself. Yeah, it is really good. And where do you get the lemons or limes from? I got the limes from one of our neighbours. They had them by the driveway. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really very sweet of them. Okay, so you're going to probably wonder these weird ingredients in front of you. So we're making <laughs> something called a Welsh rabbit. Okay. So this is a dish that takes me back to when I was about 12 years or 13 years old. My father, not being one to cook much in the kitchen... <laughs> used to make this on a Sunday. It was his speciality. And uh, it was something that I'll never forget. And actually, the other day, tidying up in the study, I found the recipe, which I couldn't find for so many years. And uh, he never kept a copy of it, of it. He said, well, I never really looked for it, but I yeah. just didn't know where it was. Yeah. All right, so we're looking at a number of ingredients here. So you can see quite a lot of cheese, 220 wow. grams of cheese. Why so much? We need it. It's going to be like a cheesy, almost like a kind of a cheese sauce, sauce but with a bit of a difference. Okay. Then we've got butter, which is just short of a tablespoon. We've got a half a cup of milk. We've got some Worcester sauce here. I'll tell you a little What's bit more about that. that? Yeah, I knew you'd ask. <laughs> we've got some salt, obviously. We've got some paprika, a little bit of red pepper in there as well. And then you can also add a bit of uh, English dry mustard if you want. And then I also have a beaten egg already. And then we're going to put them on some toast, which is really yummy. Okay. Yummy. Can't wait for All right, so let's get on with that. So I've got a double boiler over here, which you can focus on for me. So the double boiler, when we talk about a double boiler, we're talking about something that we use for creating a water or steam bath almost, okay? So whenever you see double boiler uh, type of thing, you want to create something so we don't burn something. Because remember, we are in this case going to heat up the yeah, cheese. Yeah, so we must have burned it because basically a thin sauce, let's just say. No, no, it's quite thick actually. But oh, what okay. the ingredients that you're using in there is butter, okay? So it's like... Ingredients that would burn. Yeah, so like for instance, quickly. certain things you work on here because it's not a direct heat. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to add in there our not cheese. Yeah. And move all of that into there. Wow, it's all been stuck. Like yeah. stuck just in a short hole. space. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is actually melt this together in the actual double boiler, if you like. Okay. And that's going to happen on the slowish pace. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to add in our milk. And then we're going to stir that in together, and then all the seasonings will be added. Okay. So it's quite an interesting process. So you're almost like melting cheese on you're this welcome. here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So we're just going to, you can see it's starting to melt nicely there. Ooh, it's okay. already melting. And wow. you, I was going to tell you a bit about the Worcester sauce. So Worcester sauce itself is, comes from an area called Worcestershire in a province or a county called Worcester. <laughs> so two chemists back in the early 19th century created something from chemistry in their own way and they made something like Worcester sauce. Uh, okay, so quite, then like... And you use it as a bit of a seasoning, mostly for breakfast and for various other things. It gives a nice little umami taste. As umami? Such. <laughs> Can you see all their cheese is starting to melt now nicely yeah. with that butter? Today's Mother's gonna, Day, so we're making a nice Mother's Day snack. Yeah, so Mom's getting a Mother's Day treat only this evening. Just a little snack before snack. we have a nice homemade soup, which we made the other day. Oh, but it's, it's thick and... and, 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 well, and. Alright, so we're going to melt that there. Just keep the camera nicely on there. Hi. Then we're going to add in our seasonings. So we're going to have a good hearty pinch of salt. We also want to add in our Worcester sauce. A couple of glugs over there. I what? Like to be quite generous. <laughs> nice. Well, you want to get those lovely flavors in there. And then obviously, mm -hmm. lastly, our red pepper and paprika, You're which welcome. we're going to season there. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. And then lastly, obviously, because egg is very delicate when you add it to hot things. You don't want it to scramble, you see. Yeah. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add the egg into this. No, no. So it's a very interesting mixture. Yeah, so the egg too. will bind it. Yeah. So the egg will bind all of this oh, in a moment. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and then over here on the other side, I've got a pan waiting to go. A little bit of heat on there already. And I'm going to add the buns in there. So I've cut some buns, and we're going to toast them. All right, so 
I love toasted bread. Oh, no, Wait, can, we, can we have lemon curd for like a <laughs> dessert snack? So, yeah, we can do that for after that. Yeah, a dessert snack. Sure. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to quickly bring this together. It looks so much more different before you added the egg. No, I haven't the added it actually. It just looks so we're just going to reach across, get the egg. So we're almost ready for that. The egg. Just before it gets too hot, so we just want to combine this all very nicely. So you don't want to cook it too long. Yeah, that and as you see there, it's starting to it would burn. Yeah, and so as this starts to melt nicely now, we can start to add in because the temperature is just on the lukewarm and above, and we're going to work that in. Okay, so we just whisk. Welcome again. You're welcome to. <laughs> okay, so you whisk all of that in. Now that will bind this here to make it a nice rich sauce. And what we want to do is we don't want to let it go too long because then it will separate anyway. Don't forget about the toast. Yep, the toast is toasting. Ah, toasty toast. Okay, so we're going to keep on with. Um, stirring this nicely and it will get a bit of a texture to it and then what you should do is we're just going to put it over our toasted buns here in a moment right but normally what you do is you put that over your bread so you let it cool down a bit so it starts to coagulate and set and then it forms like a little mm. kind of a cheese sauce and you yeah. gratinate it in the oven Ooh, Dad? Oh, big words today eh? yeah dad mm. one of my tattoos wants to see what you're making <laughs> little fishy see? fishy <laughs> He's oh, cute. What's his name? I call him Fishy. Oh. And then Fishy has a friend called Goo Goo. Okay, it's quite it's original. A snail. It's a snail. Yeah. And then I've got one that's a kingfisher. His name is King. And I've got another bird, which is Tweet. I've got an, an octopus I call Jelly because he looks like a jellyfish. Yeah. And I've got a ladybug next to that called Lady. And then on my arm I've got lots sure. of butterflies. I don't flies. know how you keep up with all these names. I know, I know. Okay, so I'm going to pull this, or turn the heat off rather, and yeah. the reason for that is, I think we've got a good temperature happening here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's a nice soft heat, you see? So wait, what are we going to so do that steams up inside like that. Yeah. Nothing. So that is going to be what we needed to get this all to a melting Maybe point. Maybe we could use it for our plants. Yes, when like it gets cold. Like sure. Okay, so we're just going to get this whisking a little bit, or stirring, should I say. And we're going to then let that rest for a bit. And then what we're going to do is, when I finish, I'm going to show you the final sourcing of this okay mm -hmm. so that's welsh rabbit if you want to check it out on google it's very interesting delicious little dish something that brings back lots of memories all right and that's it for the minute we'll see you just now in the picture or video bye